Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy Cam Lowe in the building. I got my guy Darren in the building today. Yes, sir. Welcome to Who's Next 757, my brother. Hey, appreciate for having me. Appreciate yes, sir. Man. Definitely. Yes, sir. Yeah. So we we in the building, man. We in the building. Yeah. This is a different type of interview. You know, we always have different type of interviews here on Who's Next 757, right? I'm very excited for this interview today. Um, dope guy in front of me, right? Yes, definitely. Right? Definitely. How old are you? I'm 23. 23. 23, man. 23. Yeah, man. Young guy. Um, definitely, those are, the, those are the years. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I'm 27. Just turned 27. Um, 23 is definitely, definitely in the come up years, finding my way, Fine. things like that. Yeah. So how is it for you right now? Uh, it's cool. Um, like you say, it's one of those years when you're trying to find yourself and trying to see what niche you can you can hold and stay accountable to mm-hmm. instead of just, you know, going here and there and and everybody looking at you like, yo, what else you about to do? You know what I'm saying? So right. it's like one of those things of just trying to find yourself, but at the same time, staying true to yourself, staying A1 from day one. Mm-hmm. A1 and, from day know, one. And making sure, you know, if you got a solid group of people around you make sure you know they always solid because one thing you don't want to do is when you have something out here you don't want nobody flaking mm-hmm. you know, these like you said these years are precious so what you gonna mm. do with them mm. you know, so mm. you know i like that definitely. i like that 100 yeah. percent. right so growing up where are you from yeah i'm from norfolk, norfolk from Virginia, norfolk you know what i'm saying yeah i went to um i went to a school uh Cal- calvary assembly Okay. I went there and then I um came to Virginia Beach. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So twenty three years old. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, high school graduate. Yeah. So um, so I went to like I said I went to uh, Calvary. It was actually Calvary Christian School System. I went there. Um, the pastor knew my great granddad. Okay. So he was like, "Yo, you know your grandson could your great grandson could play the drums." Hey, I let them come to the school. So mm-hmm. that's how I kind of got to get over there for free. Okay. <laughs> I was like a uh, performing arts type of school? Yeah, it was like a performing arts type of school and then a private school at the same time. You know, so um, everybody was like, all right, cool. You know, get them in private school. You know, food is is real. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My mom didn't have to worry about buying clothes every day. So they had the uniforms and everything like okay, that. Okay, okay. So um, from there... Um, I wind up going to Glenwood Elementary. That's when I moved to Virginia Beach. So that's okay. on like the Salem side of the area and all that stuff, Lynn Haven area and all that. But you said elementary. I mean, like I was about, I was about to get into like more so like the high school college. Yeah, route. yeah, yeah, yeah. So with that one, um, once I went to once I went out of high school and all that stuff came in, um, I actually left my tenth grade year. Um, meaning because I had a thing, I have a thing called Crohn's disease. Mm. It's basically it's like a stomach syndrome and everything. So, um, with high school, it kind of it was like my grades was at like a three point because I played basketball. I was a okay, pretty good basketball player. I played ball. Like, I played yeah, ball. You know <laughs> okay, <laughs> so um, it was like one of those things where um, I wasn't being in school like that. Because right. I was always in the hospital, you know mm. what I'm saying? So I had a lot. Then I had my friends. They would kind of be like, yo, like, what's going on with you? Mm-hmm. You know, and especially at those ages. Mm-hmm. Really you don't want to say too much. Don't want right. to say too much because then people right. be like, oh, this you know? and that. You know what I'm saying? I get you. I get you. So um, I wound up having to go get my GED. Okay. From, um, instead of, you know, going that full route and all that stuff. Cause got it's you. Gonna be got too you. Too difficult. Got you. Know you got saying? you. So. <laughs> yeah. You you over you're overcoming, of course, yeah. right? Um, that's the high school route, so you didn't probably make it to the college uh, route and things like that as well. Yeah, no, nah, I wasn't going to go to college. I know that um, if I didn't have my Crohn's, how my basketball career was ultimately shaping out. Mm-hmm. I told my coaches I really wasn't even looking the college route. Right, like I was looking to go overseas for probably like a year or two. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, try to branch out and, and yeah, do. try to branch out and see okay. if I can get into that draft in a sense, you know. See, see, it's some, it's, it's, it's major things going on, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, the process. Uh, so now there, there's not much education, right? You yeah. got your GED, but yeah. growing up, a great, great guy. We, we moving on to business owner. Yeah. Right. So we're yeah. gonna get there, right? But this is this is something I want to say <clears throat> or ask you. Definitely. Now, with that being in 
play, right? Mm-hmm. Your situation and things like that. Is and where you're heading and where you're at now. Mm-hmm. I know not being in school that didn't stop education. Right. Yeah. But is being in school education super needed in in this lifestyle on becoming great at what you do or learning something or having a trait, talent? Yeah. Is that stopping anything? Uh it's a yes and no. Cause I feel like some stuff we go to school for is like, come on now. Like, I don't care who George Washington is. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I don't care about Now that we get older a yeah, little bit. Yeah, now we get older, it's like, again, it's like kind of finding your niche. And then with finding that, if you are going to go that school route of college and all that mm-hmm. stuff, now go to school for those things, those subjects, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. that you can make it. But then, it's, then it's, again, it's kind of hard, too, because when you do... It's like, you know, you really got to lock in. Right. But I say it's more like a 50 50 because okay. the stuff that I'm doing, I. <laughs> exactly. You know what right. I'm saying? It's like. That's okay. why I'm, that's where I'm coming from. That's yeah, where I'm coming yeah. from. That's why I'm, it, it didn't stop. It didn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. It didn't really stop much. Yeah, it didn't stop much. You know? But it's all in between time and mm-hmm. what you, what you was doing in between that time. Definitely. Right. So moving forward. Yeah. Now we here. Yeah. Right. Business owner. Yeah. You have your own business right now. Definitely. Right, yeah. janitorial business. Yes. Yeah, janitorial. Yeah. Let's speak more on that, my friend. Definitely. Like the name. Yeah. Uh, more so, how did you get started into it and Definitely. things like that? Definitely. Uh, so the name of the business is called Fresh Start Cleaning Business LLC. Um, I've been had this business since 2019. Okay. Um, it was crazy because um, I the last time I was planning to play pro ball overseas. I went to Vegas and um, my agent at the time, Drew, he was mm-hmm. like, yo, I need you to come out here. I got some teams who kind of want to look at you. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then I said, all right, well, we're going to go hoop and all that stuff. Did what I had to do. And then my my body started to break down without me knowing it. Mm. So um, when I went to Vegas and came back to Dallas, mm-hmm. I started shaking. Mm. And I'm like, you know, it's hot outside. You know, right, right, it's right, hot right. in the airport. Why okay. am I, you know, why am I shaking for? So then I go from Dallas to Richmond. Now I'm like walking wobbly in a sense. So then I go to the hospital. They're like, yo, your sugar's at a 10. Mm. I'm like, y'all, how am I still alive? You know what I'm mm. saying? Sugar at a 10. So I'm talking, we go to the hospital and everything. And he calls me. He's like, yo, I got eight teams that looking at you and that may want you. But I'm still in the hospital. I'm like, yo, I can't go. You know what I'm saying? I, mm. I can't do it. Mm. So I'm, you know, me being religious, I'm a Christian. Okay. I'm like, God, what am I going to do next? Right. What can I do that will, you know, a lot of times we don't think about it, but what can I do that will set my kids up? You know, I don't even have kids, but mm-hmm. what can I do to set them up? And if I have a wife, what can I do to set her up? So she'll be straight to Right, me. right. So he said, you know what? I'm going to give you a cleaning business. Mm. I'm going I'm to show you the ropes, but at the same time, you got to do your work too. And that's where we fail, we fail at sometimes. We think that he going to just give it to us. Mm. And we ain't got to put no work in. Mm. We put no work in. He just going to look at you like, I, I gave it to you and you, you fumbled the bag, mm. you know? So I said, all right. Then he put people in my corner, wind up being this lady named Miss Tequila, best lady in the world, you know? And she wind up helping me with going the janitorial route with doing it with the government. So she mm. showed me the gems and juices with that. So then I started, I was in the hospital for six months in 2020 and I was just doing all my work up there doing everything I need to do to get all my credentials mm. in the hospital. In the hospital. In the Laptop hospital. right there. Laptop right there. Laptop. And I said... Dedication. Hey, dedication. Because my mom actually told me before I went in the hospital, she was like, yo, you're going to go in there, but God wants to see if you really want this or not. Use this time. Use this time because you ain't got nothing to do. Use this time. Use the time. Definitely. It's just Definitely. Like this COVID situation. Use the time. Use so the time. I used the time. And what happened was I got all my credentials on my mama's birthday. Mm. I called the crying on the phone. Hey, we made it. So now he said, okay, you did what you had to do. Now let's go ahead and get it. Because mm-hmm. we got everything now. Now let's go get the money. Right. So that's how it That's how it all started, just being in that hospital for those six months. And he was being like, do you really want it in that? You know, and I showed him, yeah, I really want this. And, and, it, and it, uh, it changed your life? Change, it changed my life. I tell people, I'm like, you know, going from... 
you know, doing little jobs here and there. And, mm-hmm. and the managers would really love me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm a very down-to-earth guy. I'm mm-hmm. not cocky, none of that stuff. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. just do my job and whatever. But right, right. it's just the Crohn's would, like, stop it because I'm always, I will always have to be in the hospital. My stomach would just act up. So it's, like, one of those things where they would be, like, I'd be, like, hey, I'm sorry. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, and, right. Like, and they would tell me, like, yo, we want you to come back when you're good. But it's, like, one of those things where I couldn't do it. So you know, I got in a, a sense. Yeah. I, I got a question for yeah. you, right? So now that you're into this uh, business in this yeah. path how is that helping you now like like are you doing more now mm. or less to help the situation you have employees that's doing the work are you like not doing the work yeah 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 so right now it's it's less and more just because I like to have my hands in the in the pot, mm-hmm. you know, especially being your first business, you know, you you definitely got to have your hands. Yeah, in the you pot. know what I'm saying. It's definitely. like one of those things where, you know, um, I do have employees working. Um, mm-hmm. I do have an assistant. My mom's actually the um, the manager over the business, so she makes sure everybody gets paid and everything. And might mom sure Dukes, make, make, yeah. mom Dukes, me and her since she was 16. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying. So you know, I always make sure she good and everything like that. So um, it's, it's less and more, but I love it because it's something I love to wake up and do, you know, take rides out right, right, to right. make sure everybody's straight. Yeah. So yeah, it's real cool though. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. That's dope. So, um, so it seems like you have everything pretty much in order, uh, with, with all of that. Um, what's like the, the major goal here? Yeah. The major goal is to be. In all the states in America. So what states are you currently so, in? Right now, um, obviously Virginia. Mm-hmm. I have North Carolina. Okay. Um, and I have a sm- I have a DC, which is really not like a state in a sense. I don't think it is, but I have them too. Mm-hmm. Um, but I have those three right now, if you want to count DC in a sense. But um, the ones I'm about to have on like a South Carolina, okay, in Georgia. Okay. So we gonna hit them hard, you know. Yeah. So how is it how is it getting these states? Like I don't wanna like have you put out the blueprint in the oh, case yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. But um so basically you say you're in DC, you're in North Carolina, you're in Virginia. So that means you have like a base in DC and in North Carolina. Yeah. My vision as far as like an office to where people can like a headquarters or something like like a small headquarters to where employees come get the equipment or Mm -hmm. like how does it work? Yeah. So how it works is is basically um, with the contracts, I'll, I'll, um, you know, go up there and talk to the the people who own the building Mm -hmm. and tell them, you know, you know, where can we put our stuff at? So Mm -hmm. mainly we're not spending uh, more unnecessary, unnecessary money, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it's like if I don't need a building for y'all to come to every day, yeah, I'm not spending that money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I usually just do that, and I'll just um hire their employees and have my assistant get everything ready, get their shirts, and you know, get and then you have the work. days locked in on when you yep. come in, yep. and then yep, yep, yeah, you and know, then you just assign them to assign them to what they got to do, and I'll just do monthly checkups if mm-hmm. I want to take a trip or something. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, talk to them and everything like that. And, you know, um, and the cool thing is I tell people because I tell people, you know, you always want to make sure your your employees are, are good. Mm-hmm. You know, you mm-hmm. never want to give them the bare minimum, like mm. like a minimum wage is like what, $9.50. I'm like for janitorials, I'm giving y'all $12 because mm. I want to make sure, you know, you guys love what you do, even though it's, you know, janitorial work. Right, right, right. I want you to be happy coming here knowing, hey. I ain't making nine fifty. I'm making twelve, and then at the same time, I'm always looking out for you. So you ain't got to pay for your lunch. You know, if your kids got a birthday party, hey, I got you. Mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying I always want you to feel comfortable. Okay, you know, and make sure you know that you, you know that you're straight. You right, know? right, right. So yeah, I always like to look out and everything. And that's make dope. Sure that's dope. Good. That's yeah. dope. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope. So, what is what is the most thing you have learned? Throughout this journey of ownership and businessman, what is the most valuable thing you have may you may have learned up until this point? Um, 
I say that the most valuable thing I learned to this point is that uh, everybody isn't with you. Mm. You know, like, <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh man, like everybody isn't with you. Mm. You know, they, it may sound good because at first it'd be like, oh snap, you know, a lot of people they'll see the money first. I tell people, I'm like, when you make a business, don't look at the money first. Mm. You know, don't count money you never, you can't put in your bank account. Yeah. What's not wired there? And because that'll, that'll make the people stay even more who don't need to stay. Okay. So I'd rather, I'd rather just put in the work and see if you really going to be there. If I need you to, hey, I need you to go to, um, I need you to go to North Carolina for me. Mm-hmm. I shouldn't have to say, hey, I need you to go to North Carolina for me. I'll give you $400. Mm-hmm. You should know my heart just off of before I had the business I already looked out for you. But now that I got a plan and I got something that can generate everybody being good, now you looking at, oh, but how much am I getting though? It's like it don't matter. Like just just do it because that now I, I see you. Mm-hmm. And I really see now I know how to place everybody. But if you just focused on what can I get out of it, I you not really you're not really with me. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know, one of those things where you got to make sure you're good. So now my question to that yeah. is, suppose you have a person that's definitely loyal, yeah, right? Definitely want to ride with you, right? Mm-hmm. Um, But they do need the money. But they, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like they going to do it, but they, they, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah. And my question, and my answer to that is, if they always been loyal and they do need it, first of all, you already should know I'm going to always bless you because you've been needing it. Right. So I'm going to put you so when we do have the business and I need you to do this, I'm our, you're going to be the first person because you're the loyal one. You're going to be the first person. I'd be like, look, you ain't even got to worry about nothing. Hit the bread right here. and You don't even have to worry about having needing the money because we got it. Mm-hmm. You made it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So to the one who's loyal, I'm going to always make sure you're straight because mm-hmm. you did what you had to do. In the trench, in the trenches, mm-hmm. when we was trying to figure everything out, you was right there, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna always make sure you straight. Nah, yeah, of course, yeah, of course. Yeah. So before we really wrap it up, my friend, yeah, it's a dope conversation. Yeah. Um, really, is there anything I missed? Meaning, like you know, anything yeah. you want to touch on? Yeah. Um, I mean, like I said, you know, on the spare time, you know, I make beats and all that stuff on the spare time and everything like that. Yes, sir. You know. Yes, sir. Sending them out to people and everything and, you know, trying to, you know, I found my niche with that on how I make them. Mm. And not trying to be like, you know, 808 Mafia and, you know, Zaytoven and all them guys. It's like, you know, it's my tag is that's that ball player. So when you hear that, mm. you know, you're going to hear something different. It's fire. We coming with something different in everything. That's that ball player. You know, I don't saying? know how it yeah, sounds, but sound just like that. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? So, you know, it's just something that I found out a, hey, you know, if I when I have spare time, mm-hmm. let me cook something up right quick. 10, 15 minutes. Dope. Go ahead, send it out. You know? Hard. Definitely. So fire. be on the lookout for that. And you saying that, man, this is a perfect platform to let that be known on. Definitely. Definitely going to shed light on that. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of artists out here. Yeah. A lot of artists out here. Uh, have you got a chance to work with any artists? Um, so I got a chance to one with my dad. His name is um Bless Picasso. He's from Portsmouth. Okay. Um, so I got to work with him, sending him stuff. He actually has a, a deal, an overseas deal and all that stuff. So, you know, I, I send my stuff to him. Um, I send my stuff to um, uh, this guy named uh, Nigel Burrio. You're a rapper too. He out here and everything from Chesapeake area, send them stuff to him and all that stuff. So I send my stuff to a lot of lot of young young people and all that stuff. Okay. And people who you know who on the up and coming too. Cause I tell people, I'm like, look, I know you want to send your stuff to Gunner and mm-hmm. you know. Well, yeah, you gotta work team. up to that. You, you gotta, gotta work, work up to up that. To that. Cause yeah. nine times out of ten, they're not looking at them DMs. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And you gotta you gotta kinda uh be on the search sometimes. Sometimes artists do say send beats to yeah. this email. Yeah. You know, and then you just got to be really on it. You got to be really on it. And, and that's the thing. Like, I did that with um with Walker. Uh, he said, send your beats out. Mm-hmm. And I had DM'd him. And he answered. Mm. He was like, yo, send me your beats. Right. So I sent it to him. He was like, yo, they fire. Keep sending. Mm. So I'm like, that gave me motivation. Because you, know, you never know. Because what if he just... Like, he, he said they fire, so he put them in the firebox. You know what I'm saying? So now when he go back to the firebox... Mm-mm-mm. 
get this joint. He might not even remember, you know but let me yeah. grab this joint, mm-hmm. right? So now that he's laying, he's not even more so thinking about you. He's thinking about creating that hit. Yeah. So now that he created that hit, yeah, on something that is yours. Yeah. Now that's going that's going to trickle down the line. Yeah. And so that's what I did. I was like, I just I just hit him up from time to time. That's dope. Being like, hey, I got something for. Oh, I send it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and my thing is, I'm like, hey, that's just that's just one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like you said, when he be like, hey, let me go back into this file. And then he hear that. It's right. like, hey, that's that's something else. That's you it. You know? So, that's it. yeah. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And I'm, I'm definitely going to keep in contact with you about that, man. Definitely. We're definitely going to lock in. Oh, yeah. You definitely, know, definitely. You know. um, we got we got D in the building. We got Darren in the building. Definitely. You know what I mean? Business owner, entrepreneur. Yeah. Definitely on the come up. Yeah. Definitely next on who's next, 757. Right? At this point, I want you to shout out uh, all your people, your team, yeah, yeah, anybody? Yeah, definitely. Shout out to my mama. You know what I'm saying? My sister. You know, she just had a daughter and all that. So she turned one on August 3rd. Congratulations. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, appreciate it. My, um, my granddad, he's the most, he's, he's like the most influential mm. so for me. You know, he always gives me nuggets and gems of, you know, how to move around with life and, right. you know, everything. You know, he's somebody, he's the person I call dad and everything because he's always been there. So, you know, shout out to him. Shout out to my uncles, Rudy mm. and Brian and my grandma. Um, and the whole camp of Fresh Start Cleaning Business. Y'all know who y'all is, man. We out here, man. Definitely. Let's get it. Let's get it. This is Who's Next 757. We in the building. We out here. Yes, sir.